Singularity 6, hey, come here. Hey, you did good. You did real good. By the way, listen to this video, you're gonna be like, wow, you sound, you sound awful. Yeah, because I feel awful. I'm sick. I have man flu. All right, if you don't know what man flu is, it's when you're a dude and you get the flu and you just make it seem like it's a thousand times worse than it really is. Like I'm, I feel like I'm dying. And update 0 0.176, Singularity 6 added Hot Pot to the game. We knew Hot Pot was coming. We knew a car game was coming. I even said that adding it is going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be one of the greatest things. And look at us now. We're all addicted to playing a hot pot <laughs> at the Maji market. As soon as 6 p.m. hits in that game, everyone flocks. That's why I get there hella early. I get at the Maji market around like 4 p.m. And I stand there at a table. And when people get up there, I just, I freaking bow. And then once the game starts, it's go time until 3 a.m. When I get there though, and I start playing, I notice a lot of people asking, hey, how do I play this game? What, what do I do? In today's video, I am gonna teach you really quickly on how to play Hot Pot. I am. However, I guarantee there is already other Pelion content creators out there that have made how to play Hot Pot. I actively don't watch other Pelion content creators because I don't want to steal content. I don't want to look at them and go, I could do something like that. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't watch other Pelion content creators. I do, I watch another one, she's my homie. Her name is Wolfie, and we're gonna refer to her in a second. But yeah, so today I am gonna teach you how to play Hot Pot. Other than that, we're gonna get into a little bit of discussion and what Hot Pot means for the future of Pelion. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So as I said earlier, Hot Pot is a culinary adventure that is extremely addictive in the virtual world of Paleo. The gameplay I'm using for this little segment of the video is my first win that I got while streaming live on Twitch. But speaking of Twitch, Paleo is adding Twitch drops from February 5th to February 25th at the Maji Market. You'll get 1,000 lucky envelopes per week until February 25th. Now, I'll be streaming on Twitch right after I upload a video. My upload schedule is Tuesdays and Saturdays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'll be streaming at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You watch the video and you can catch me live if you'd like some lucky envelopes from the Maji Market. Now, if you want to know how to connect your Twitch account to your Pelion account, I have the video for you. Like I said earlier, we're going to be referring to Wolfie. Wolfie has a video on how to connect your Twitch account. It is going to be in the description down below. You can go and you can click it. Leave her a comment on that video. Say Percival says cowboy butts make him nuts. Don't say that. <laughs> think it, just you'd be like, yo, thank you for the video. So the Hot Pot minigame is a delightful addition to the cozy MMO live sim Pelia. Outside of the usual gardening and hunting, this special holiday event brings forth a card game that revolves around the communal dining experience. By the way, after playing Hot Pot, I went and fucking got Hot Pot. It is fantastic. It was my first Hot Pot experience. I highly recommend it. Google your ass off and find the closest Hot Pot to you and go. Find a friend, find, bring your mom. If you have no friends like me, that sucked. Picture a simmering pot at the center of the fairgrounds and you, eager to create up to three mouthwatering sets using cards with distinct ingredients and categories. I'm going to quickly explain how to play Hot Pot because we have other things to discuss in this video. First, head to any Hot Pot in the fairgrounds and initiate or join a game. However, fashionably early is the key. As I said earlier in the video, I get there around 4 p.m. Before everyone, okay? Y you gotta, because people are, they, Ooh, they're like piranhas. People are addicted. Because once people are at a table, they are running that table from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. It is like Biloxi, Mississippi. The game has categories representing food groups with unique symbols and colors, which adds a flavorful twist to the game. The challenge lies in forming sets, three sets of three. As the game begins, players are dealt a hand of eight cards. You then draw a face down mystery card from the hot pot center, then you discard a card. From the second turn outwards, players can choose to draw from the center or snatch the last discarded card from a fellow player, adding a layer of strategy and tactical decision making to the mix. The ultimate goal, once again, is to attain three sets of three, winning the game and savoring the sweet taste of victory. So pretty much three sets of three. That is the easiest way to win hot pot. Get three corn, three bok choy, and three meat, and then you win. You win the game. It also lasts up to 15 rounds. If it gets past 15 rounds, it just ends. It's 
it's a f***ing done. Time is of the essence in the Hot Pot minigame, like I said earlier, commencing at 6pm Pelion time and concluding sharply at 3am. And this will be around until February 26th. But that is the issue at hand. As you can tell from the title, Hot Pot is addictive. A lot of people are playing it. My Discord every single day is just shouting hot pot like every, it's just <laughs> it, that and hot pot gifts by the way you should join the discord it's a super happy community everyone is welcome we'll talk about that later we just but everyone is going literal ape because of hot pot and we've all had to face reality that it's gonna go away and we're gonna hate to see it yes the maji market has the choppa chase that that is a mini game that exists but because of hot pot hot pot has now overshadowed the choppa chase Every time I go to the Maji Market, I rarely see anyone chasing the damn choppas. No one is going after them. Everyone is sitting there just fiending for their next game of Hot Pot, including myself. I, I even have a Pelpedia game timer for when it's time for me to launch Pelia back up and get into the Maji Market. All right, that's, that's where I'm at in my Hot Pot addiction. Since many of us really don't want Hot Pot to go away, it led to a discussion in my Discord on how they can implement it in the game for a more permanent setting, yet keeping it still around only during certain game hours and everyone can still win without lucky tickets. We talked about this in depth, not only in my Discord, but in my Twitch stream. We're asking everyone, hey, how would you do this? What would be the steps you would take where it seems to be an even ground? And the answer that we all came up with is the underground market. You know that area where Zeki likes to chill with Wrath and kind of like a speakeasy setting that I absolutely love, but it feels kind of dead because they need to add more mini games to it? Add Hot Pot. Bring Hot Pot down there. Only one table, allowing players to only play one time per game day or night cycle and put it right in the middle of that circle thingy, right? So right there and everyone can kind of get there and get ready to play. So yeah, only play one time a night. You get to play one night cycle. If you're gonna bring your friends down there, you can go against each other once a night cycle. I want to make that very clear, once a night cycle because other people are gonna be wanting to play. But when you go against other players, no matter what, you leave with a hot pot to go container. Completely random from the set that we have every single time. But if you win, you get a lucky coin and a star quality hot pot to go container. Many of us feel like this would work because we do want more things to do in Pelia. One thing I feel like would be very beneficial to add in Pelia is more mini games. And this could be another way to keep people around. Mini games and MMOs serve various essential purposes contributing to the overall gaming experience. I could think of all the fun times I've had and MMOs, not even questing, just doing social activities or community-based activities that are heavily focused in mini games. Take Clan Wars and RuneScape. Is it essential to RuneScape? No, it, but it is a mini game and it is fun as hell. Here are some reasons why mini games hold importance to MMOs. One, diversification of gameplay. Mini games offer a break from routine, providing diverse challenges and entertainment within the MMO world. When New World came out and I was just waiting for my friends, you would literally find me just fishing. I don't know why I keep going back to fishing, but you would just find me fishing nonstop. Or when I'm just tired of questing, that's what I would do. You know, when I'm tired of doing things, but I wanna keep playing and I wanna watch Netflix. So I have Netflix up, I'm just doing something easy. Rain is practically off and I'm still enjoying the game. Two, community building. Multiplayer minigames foster social interactions and collaboration, building connections among players. I've already met a lot of other players in Pelia playing Hot Pot. Me and this dude were just joking around. And unfortunately, I could not add him because Pelia has this bug right now where I can't accept friend requests, I can't send friend requests. So if you sent me a friend request, just know once Pelia fixes that bug. I will accept it. I accept every single friend request. I try to play with everyone. You guys are my homies. I greatly appreciate you watching my content. Thank you. I'm not, I'm legit not being an asshole. I swear to God, it's just, there's a bug. Number three, rewards and incentives. Many games provide unique rewards, items, or in-game currency, incentivizing player engagement and progression. Take the Maji Market Lucky Envelopes, for example. People have been playing Hot Pot amping up their lucky envelopes and now they're buying Maji Market themed furniture, 
and decor, and they're adding it to their plot. They're making it look all nice and fancy. Economy and resource management. Some mini games involve resource gathering, crafting, or trading, contributing to the in-game economy. Now, we don't really have that. I mean, yes, we have the lucky envelopes, and we spend the lucky envelopes, and we get lucky coins, and we can go add it to the wheel, and we spin it, and we can get more stuff. Yes, but more mini games added to Pelio, we can definitely do something along these lines. We can add it where, as you play, many games there is a rare drop that we could have or it can help you get crafting material number five seasonal and event content many games are featured in seasonal event like the lunar new year maji market introducing new challenges and content during special occasions i mean yeah just hot pot we, we have the choppa chase which is awesome i enjoyed the choppa chase however I no longer care for the top of chase. <laughs> Number six, accessibility and inclusivity. Many games cater to different play styles, preferences, and skill levels, making the MMO accessible to a diverse player base. When they dropped the tower, a lot of people that enjoyed Only Up were addicted to the tower. I can't stand the tower. Don't get me wrong, I like the tower. I think it's a great addition to Palea. However, it frustrated me so much where I had to lay down and count to 10. I've yet to beat it. I, it, it is so hard to me. <laughs> Number seven, player retention. Engaging minigames contribute to player retention by preventing boredom and burnout, keeping the player base invested. That was a big issue for a moment in Palea. It has added something to do during dull times. If it's a dull time at night, hey, let's go and play hot pot. Now adding the groves into Palea was a really smart idea where people would go to Bahari at night and actively chop down the trees. It was a social interaction. It was community building, yes but there was still dull times and what you do in the day. If you've completed and you're currently up to where the quest line ends and you go through your garden every day, you chop the grove down, you have all the social interactions up, what else to do? That's when these mini games come in handy. And lastly, competitive element. Some mini games introduce healthy competition, allowing players to challenge each other, climb leaderboards and showcase their skills. Now we don't have leaderboards in Pelia, which is very smart. I don't think there ever should be leaderboards in Pelia. But when Hot Pie got added, I think that a lot of people realized, okay, maybe we do need some sort of competition in Pelia. Everyone still wins, but clearly someone is still winning. Y yes, we all get our participation trophies, even though I don't believe in participation trophies. But when Hot Pot got added, it added this competitive element. Everyone on my Discord was just ready to win. Everyone was amped up to win and go against each other. And all the voice chats were just bumping. Everyone is meeting together. Everyone is going against each other. It is so fun. And it brought a lot of people together. So I think adding that competitive element to the game is something that Pelia does in fact need. I could be viewing this completely differently compared to everybody else, but Hot Pot definitely made me realize, and something I've realized for a while now, that Pelia does need some sort of competitive element. In summary, mini games and MMOs serve as an essential tool to enhance the overall gaming experience, offering a break from our current routine in Pelia, providing opportunities for diverse and enjoyable gameplay. Let me know in the comments below what mini games do you think they should add to Pelia? All right, and while you're down there, commenting and letting me know what you think be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you'll know exactly when i upload a video but if you want to know the exact moment that i upload a video be sure to join the discord because sometimes youtube is a bit delayed all right it's a bit delayed letting people know that i have a video out but if you want to know the exact moment that i have a video out because i will annoy the you with pings join the discord it is a happy awesome community everyone is so kind to each other and welcoming except for brutal brutal is a d but he is my best friend he's he's my d <laughs> but if you're watching this video right now and it is like a tuesday or a saturday around 12 p.m eastern standard time because after i upload a video and those are my upload times tuesdays and saturdays at 12 p.m eastern standard i am most likely live on twitch and that is twitch.tv slash percival gg everyone is welcome Come on in, join the conversation. Let's talk about this video. We don't believe in strangers, but that's the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.